Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for our hymn, He Honore. Let us pray. Ete wahi ngaro, hora hia te marino kia tau te rangi marie, menaki tia wene tauira menga korowa e tau toko o ora tau fano. Fakawati e te hura hi kia kore kore roa tu rato e fara. Titiro ata fai mai ki o mato kainga fano hoki. Ka inoe atu ki a koutou ki a tiakina mātou katoa, whakamana ngā tauira, tihei mauri ora. Shower serenity on us. Care for these students. Clear the path so that they do not stumble. Look with kindness on our homes and families. We ask that you look after us, empower the students, our life force is alive. Tihe Mauriora. Put it here. Hide it. And everyone, please be seated. A ko te kuputu atahi me wahi ki te atua koe e te timatanga, koe e te whakautinga o ngā mea katoa ki runga tēnei au hurihuri. It is only right that we all acknowledge the Almighty God, for He is the beginning, the Creator, the beginning and the end of all things. I te tuarua tēnei te mihi kā koe e te rangatira, tākuta, rōpata, Sullivan, he tuku whakamuimiti, kia pai ai whakaaro, Secondly, I would like to acknowledge Dr. Robert Sullivan for saying a prayer on our behalf that may we have good thoughts, good spirit in this evening's graduation. Kia tau iho ngā manaki tanga ki runga i te ki ngi Māori tu heitia. He ngā reo, he ngā mana, he ngā kāwai rangatira o te motu putātu i te ao no mai, no mai, hara mai. Acknowledgement to the Māori King, to Heitia, members of the Royal Household, and to Fano, who has attended this evening. Koutou nei e manaki tia mai ngā tauira, hei whiwhi tohu, 
he po whakahira hira tēnei. Tēnei te mihi ki a koutou e ngā tauira. Hei whiwhi tohu, hei whiwhi tohu, ka oti ngia ngā mahi toimaha i te rangi nei he po whakahira hira. I want to, we want to congratulate each and every one of you students for tonight is about you. Tonight is your graduation. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Ka rekumero ngā kōrero, koutou te whānau, ngā kā weirangatira, hara mai, hara mai, hara mai. Acknowledgement to your loved ones, to our loved ones, who have departed into the heavens. Acknowledgement to Papaku, Ekoro, Hareatura. Apiti hono tātai hono, te hunga ora ki a tātou e huhumaini i raro i te tūnui o tēnei whare to each and every one of you. Nau mai, welcome, hara mai, hara mai. Ka nui te mihi ki a koutou e tēnei pō. Talofa lava, ki o rāna, malo e lele, whakalofa lahi atu, ni men hao, jumbo, warm greetings to you all. Good evening, graduands, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Professor Martin Carroll. I'm the Executive General Manager, Academic and Provost and tonight I have the great honour of being your MC for this important event. Firstly, we would like to thank our Kai Karanga, Fire Dolly Pairakana, our Kai Karakia, Dr. Robert Sullivan, Matua Tetela Rawiri, and the fabulous performers from the Ngā Māori Taniwha Kiuta 
Kapahaka Group for their welcome this evening. One more thanks to them. <clears throat> this is the Monaco Institute of Technology 2018 Diploma, Degree and Postgraduate Graduation Ceremony. We hold this ceremony to honour the graduands of the Institute. We honour your work, your commitment, your dedication to learning, and tonight, most of all, your success. We ask that you, the audience, show your respect for all our graduands this evening by remaining seated throughout the entire ceremony, by maintaining a level of respectful quiet so that we can hear each and every name, and please, turning those mobile phones off. It is now my pleasure to invite the Chairman of the MIT Council, Peter Winder, to address us. Tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa, and warm Pacific greetings to everyone here today. On behalf of the, Matakau, sorry, the Council of the Matakau Institute of Technology, I welcome you here today to the ceremony for the official conferment of awards. I'd like to welcome and thank our distinguished guests for joining us at this celebration. This afternoon we have with us Diane Gulliver from the Auckland District Health Board, Logan Salvadorai from Farmco, who is a sponsor of uh, Matters in Nursing, and of course our very special guest speaker, Dame Karen Sewell, who I'll introduce shortly. We are really glad to have each of these people here to share with this event, but not, as, not half as pleased as for the graduands that are sitting, us, sitting here in front of us. This year we celebrate a bumper crop of graduate, graduates, which is a fantastic outcome for this community and for the country. And everyone seated here today can celebrate and be part of a wonderful achievement. In total, 1,305 graduands were eligible to attend one of today's ceremonies, an increase of almost 10% over the last year. Additionally, more than 2,500 MIT students gained degrees, diplomas, certificates and other qualifications throughout last year. Importantly, almost 80% of our graduates go on to employment related to their field of study or to pursue further education within six months of graduating. I'm delighted to be here today to celebrate the success and achievements of our graduands receiving their awards. As always, Graduation Week highlights the diverse student community that MIT serves. We can take huge pleasure in the contribution we make to the wider economy of our city by producing skilled, work-ready graduates in such a diverse range of disciplines. I'd like to acknowledge the role of Farnau in helping our graduands reach this point. No student works alone. The support that they receive is vital to each graduand here, and I take this opportunity to thank each and every friend and family member for the role that they have played. The success of our graduands celebrated here today is your success as well. I'd also like to pay tribute to the lecturers and teachers and staff and leadership of MIT. They are all deeply committed to the success of their students and their dedication to providing the best education possible for our community can be seen in the results here today. However, after acknowledging Farnau and staff, we just really have to note that we're here to celebrate the achievements of the graduands. And I know that there have been hundreds of hours of hard work, financial stresses and sacrifice of family time and other personal matters in order for you to get here. Today is your day. And on behalf of the Council of the Manukau Institute of Technology, I offer you hearty congratulations on reaching this point. It's now my ple great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker this afternoon, Dame Karen Sewell, QSO, Director of the Australia and New Zealand School of Government. 
Dame Karen retired from the role of Secretary of Education and Chief Executive of the Ministry of Education in 2011. Prior to that, she was Chief Executive and Chief Review Officer of the Education Review Office and Acting Chief Executive of the New Zealand Qualifications Authority. Dame Karen has been recognised for a lifetime of outstanding service to New Zealand education, being made a Dame Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit. She was awarded the New Zealand Medal in 1990 and in 2012 became a Companion of the Queen's Service Order, QSO, of New Zealand for services to the state. Throughout her career, Karen has demonstrated the passion for ensuring the children and young people of our country have the opportunity of a quality education and, and the ability to contribute positively to the community. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Dame Karen Sewell. In a mana, in a reo, ra rangatira ma, tena koto, tena koto, tena tato katoa. Talofa lava, malua la le, kia orana, ni sembula vinaka, malo ni, taloha ni, fakalofa lahia tu. Na hawe fa, na iwe e taone, piki mai, kaki mai, fakato mai, hari mai koto. Peter Winder, Chair of the Council, Chief Executive Gus Gilmore, invited guests, faculty, parents and Fano, members of the community of Monaco Institute of Technology, and most importantly, graduands, Namihi Nui, my warmest greetings to you all. I'd also like to acknowledge, because I have a chance to being here, my friend and colleague, Stuart Middleton, and thank him for his outstanding and extraordinary contribution to New Zealand education. He did other things before he came here. Congratulations to all those of you who are graduating today. This event is a milestone to be celebrated. Congratulations to the parents, friends, and Fano who have supported your learning and are here to acknowledge your success. And congratulations to your teachers whose knowledge, skill, care, and patience has supported you in reaching this milestone. Charles Dickens began his novel, David Copperfield, by asking, whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my own story or whether that station will be held by anybody else, these pages must show. This is the question for you, graduates today. This is your choice. Don't wait for others to act. Be the hero of your own life. This evening, we are all part of a ceremony that is both actual and symbolic. For those of you who are graduating today, it marks both an end and a beginning. Certainly not the end of your learning, but the end of your time here and the beginning of your work in professions of service to others, health and hospitality in their broadest senses. Your education at MIT has given you not just knowledge, but has taught you how to learn in powerful ways so that you can manage the demands of changing information, technology, work, and social conditions. Your education here has given you freedom because you have learned how to find answers to your own questions and how to make judgments about what you have discovered. There is a theme running through my address today. While I'm praising your achievements and the determination and will that has brought you here and putting before you the certain demands of a future that is unknown, at the heart of what I am saying is my focus on the personal principles and values and the professional ethics that will make you strong, honest, responsible, and compassionate New Zealanders. Our world is changing on a daily basis, and while your degrees and diplomas represent questions investigated, knowledge acquired, and skills learned, your success in the future will depend not just on what you have learned, but on your ability to go on learning. 
the American social commentator Eric Hoffer wrote, in times of change, learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. You will live in a different world from the one we are in now, a world where you don't deal just with existing knowledge, but where you will be contributing to creating knowledge. To a large extent, your future is unknown to us. The demands of your work will change. You will work at jobs that don't yet exist. You will use technologies that have not yet been invented. And you will be called on to solve problems that we don't even know are problems yet. Knowledge is expanding at a breathtaking pace. It was estimated that in the four years from 1999 to 2004, the amount of new information produced approximately equaled the amount produced in the entire history of the world up to that time. You will have to be open to new ways of thinking, to question settled structures, practices, and definitions of knowledge, to invent and test new approaches. Like Alice in Alice in Wonderland, you will be challenged by the impossible. There is no use trying, said Alice. One can't believe impossible things. I dare say you haven't had much practice, said the Queen. When I was your age, I always did it for half an hour a day. Why, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. In this brave new world, we are more aware of what we don't know than we used to be. What we do know is that we must look for new ways to prepare for the future, a future in which there is less certainty. However, some things will be the same. Our future still depends on institutes like MIT sending out into our society young people who are full of wit, curiosity, knowledge, and compassion. You should be able to live and learn in a society where your diversity is respected and where you care about and stand up for what is good in our world and recognize and change what is wrong. Our humanity is strengthened by developing our capacity for boldness and originality in our thinking and our sense of responsibility toward each other. I'm proud to be a New Zealander today, but we face significant issues of equity in our society. Life in New Zealand is much better for some than for others, and we must change that. We must look forward without losing sight of the past in which our ideals and values were shaped. You will have to open gateways for the unconventional and creative, but you must also be kaitiaki, or stewards, who hold our values in trust for that future. The future of our world lies with you and others like you all over the world. The phenomenon of globalization is enriching us with greater knowledge of the world and our place in it, but it is also challenging us in ways we have not experienced before. How will you face these challenges? Kia kaha, kia manawanui, kia tōr. You will be strong, you will be steadfast, you will be brave. Gaylene Preston, one of New Zealand's leading filmmakers, once wrote, it's about pushing the ideas as far as you can. And if you live in a small, closed, reticent society, the boundaries can be awfully tight. In the end, though, the biggest restriction is the one you put in the space inside your own head. New Zealand cannot afford for you to be restricted in this way. We need you to be responsible, caring, and independent, to take control of your own lives, to have a strong and clear sense of yourself, and to accept your responsibility for others, particularly those who are less fortunate than you are. We want you to be good citizens, responsible to and for the communities in which we will live, 
Together, I believe that you will contribute to strengthening the best of New Zealand society so that we become a society that is just and fair and where there is hope for all. To achieve this, you must also push the boundaries for our future as part of a global society. You must use your imagination, your sense of curiosity and determination. You will need to have the courage to redefine the world in which you will live and to stretch further than you think you can go. The writer Maya Angelou wrote, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. As important as your knowledge and skills, your creativity and compassion are the values and principles by which you live. Today's technologies have the power and the to change our lives, and we, in our humanity, must have the power and responsibility to use these technologies in ways that will sustain and protect our world and those who live in it. 21 years ago, on the 23rd of February, 1997, a lamb called Dolly was born in Scotland. Dolly was cloned from an adult cell. That we can do this is amazing. 50 years ago, it would have seemed miraculous, something found in a science fiction novel. It opens up all sorts of possibilities for cures for genetic defects, defects in humans and plants, but it also confronts us with significant ethical issues, ethical issues that all of you, not just our scientists and researchers, must face. I used to be a school principal, and I tried to reflect my values and principles in my relationships with the students, who, of course, had their own values, which they were always happy to share with me. One of the statements most often made to me by students was, it's not fair, closely followed by, it wasn't my fault, and if that failed, I wasn't the only one. I remember once a student appearing in my office, because I imagine no one else in the senior team was around, she asked for a late slip because she was reasonably late for school, and in my way of being, trying to be the courteous and caring principal, I asked her why. And she said, I was walking down a hill through, through some bush on the way to school, and a wood pigeon flew out of a bush, hit me on the head, and knocked me out. And she said, when I came to, I picked up my bag and came to school. I was going to give her the late slip anyway and not say anything else because I thought it was such a good story. But then she reached into her bag and pulled out a dead wood pigeon. I still don't know if it was true or if she just found it, but it was a really good start to my day. But for you, talking about things not being fair... Don't lose your sense of outrage at what is unjust. If something isn't fair, what are you going to do to make it fair? To be good citizens, to contribute to a fair and equitable society, you must hang on to your sense of what is just. And you must believe that you have a personal responsibility to try to change those things that are not just. Each of you can contribute to changing the world in which you will live if you bring to it your energy, intelligence and determination and an unswerving commitment to justice, compassion and the strong sense of values that is part of the fabric of this institute. At MIT, among other things, you have seen how to be good and caring citizens in this 21st century global world. And New Zealand needs you to be good citizens, to contribute to a society that includes instead of, instead of excluding, that doesn't justify but seeks to understand, where all of us believe we can and must make a difference. At MIT, you have been given one of the greatest gifts of all, a liberal education, this gift brings with it responsibilities and obligations to your chosen profession and craft, 
to your Fano and to your fellow citizens in this country in which we live. This is an education that deepens our humanity as individuals and as a society, that develops our capacity to learn, to reason, and to imagine, an education that encourages and enables you to explore the world and your lives thoughtfully, successfully, and ethically, to have the courage to seek what is right and true, to immerse yourselves in the world, its cultures, history, and most powerful ideas, and to have the confidence to take on the most difficult questions and problems and to offer responsible, principled, and creative answers. That is where I started. Be the hero of your own life. You have an opportunity to make a difference to our future, to create and build a future that will be just and fair and where there is hope for all. Last week, the Honourable Bill English left Parliament, having served New Zealand there for 27 years. He finished his valedictory by quoting from a poem called New Zealand by the New Zealand poet James K. Baxter. These unshaped islands on the Sawyer's bench wait for the chisel of the mind. Your responsibility now is to take your turn with the chisel. Kia horo te marino, kia whakapapa punamu te moana, kia teri te karohirohi. Kia kaha, kia manuanui, kia tō, nō re rā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou koutou. Eina mana, eina reo, rō rangi tērā mā. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. To the many voices, to our distinguished voices, to all of us, greetings, welcome, in the warmest of Pacifica greetings. Dame Karen, thank you for your most interesting, engaging and thoughtful presentation to us. You had many things in your speech that I have reflected on while you were speaking. Two of three of them stand out in particular. One is the notion of lifelong learning and the importance of it in a changing world when everything around us is shifting and moving. It's not what we've learnt, but it's our ability to go on and continue learning. I love the notion of the learners will inherit the earth. The other issue I think you raise and we should all challenge and think deeply about is stand up for what's good in our world. Challenge the bad stuff and stand up. Challenge the equity issues we have in Aotearoa. At MIT we celebrate diversity and some days we take it for granted. That's not always the case in other places in Aotearoa. So Dame Curran, thank you again for a most engaging presentation. It's been a big week here where we have recognised the achievements of over 1,300 students. Last but not least, it's the turn of 292 graduates who will leave here with diplomas, degrees and postgraduate diplomas, level 5, 6 and 7, from the faculties of consumer services and nursing and health sciences. Thank you for choosing us. It's a huge vote of confidence when students decide to further themselves through MIT, and we do our absolute best to reward that faith with education leading to tangible outcomes for you and your whanos. Recently released government figures comparing New Zealand tertiary institutions show this place is doing well for our students. 
Five years after study, MIT graduates have one of the highest median income and employment rate of all polytechnics and universities. Much of that success can be put down to tireless work of a se second important group here today, our staff, and I'll ask you to acknowledge them. <laughs> Delivering those results through education in a way that takes into account the busy lives of our students, the demands of looking after family and the financial pressures of studying is a real challenge, but your dedication and expertise makes it all possible. And last but no means least, let's not forget the support families and the broader community provide in getting to this day. Whether that's in the form of assistance with paying fees, childcare, lifts to and from campus, prayers, or just simple belief and encouragement that indeed this is all worth it in the end and that all that hard work that you've put in is going to pay off. This day is as much for you as it is for the staff and students. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Thank you, Gus. I now call upon the chairman of the MIT Council, Peter Winder, to begin our awards ceremony. Thank you. This evening, all of these people that sit in front of us entered this room as graduands, about to graduate. And there's a magic form of words that performs that miracle. And it comes off the back end of all of their hard work. So I'd like all of our graduands to stand whilst I read those words. Graduands, would you like to stand, please? And we'll acknowledge them. Well done. So you're about to cross the stage, and as you cross the stage, each of you will be recognised individually for what you have achieved. But the most important words this evening are those that actually confer your qualifications on you, and they are. By the authority vested in me by the Council of Manukau Institute of Technology and by resolution of the Academic Board of Manukau Institute of Technology, I, Peter Winder, confer the degrees stated upon those who have satisfied the requirements of this institute. Well done, congratulations, and please be seated and we'll see you on the stage shortly. Graduates. As you are directed by the marshals, please rise from your seat and queue at this side of the stage. When your name is called, please make your way carefully up the ramp and to the center of the stage to be acknowledged and to smile for a photo. Then proceed your way across the stage to collect your certificate. I now call upon Gus Gilmore, Chief Executive and Nadi Pillay, General Manager, Otara and City, to present the first Diploma Awards for the Faculty of Consumer Services. I wish to present the following recipients of the award, New Zealand Diploma in Baking, Level 5. Hong Wei Ao. Sukhvir Singh Chahil. <laughs> Ronita Prabhashni Devi. <laughs> Darshana Gitanjali. <laughs> H. 
Hei Chuan. Jarman Preet Singh. Manjinder Singh. Je Zun Liu. Yasmin Pauline Sali. Wanting Xiao <laughs> and in absentia those listed in the program. I wish to present the following recipients of the award New Zealand Diploma in Cookery Advanced Level 5. Luis Alberto Bello Rodriguez. Charlotte Sophie Brown. Songwan Cha. Shirley Maria Nanette Kupenga. Kuljinder Singh Man. Joan Manakitia Maxwell. Shanae Joan Maxwell. Lathan Jaden Miller. Rachel Rehera Muranga Aramwana. <laughs> Cock Nakaron. <laughs> Rupenda Kaur. Paul Nametua Piritaye. <laughs> Sokia San. <laughs> Lane Lewis Jr. Toto. <laughs> Richard Camariere Fare. Victor Wong. <laughs> Han Mei Zhu. <laughs> and in absentia, those listed in the program. I wish to present the following recipients of the award, New Zealand Diploma in Hospitality Management, Level 5. Tamara Jayasinghe. <laughs> Mac Terapuapi Parima. <laughs> Japneet Singh. <laughs> Shiloh Thomas. Katerina Ulangia. And in absentia, those listed in the program. 
I wish to present the following recipients of the award, New Zealand Diploma in Horticulture Production, Nursery Production, Level 5. Hiren Halji Banderi. Sukjit Singh Chima. Harmeet Singh. Kamaldeep Kaur. Harpreet Singh Mahal. Kirit Kumar Mohanlal Rabadia. Matthew James Waipuru Kumar Savage. Dinesh Vishram Vikaria. Richeng Zeng. and in absentia those listed in the program. I wish to present the following recipients of the award, Diploma in Horticulture, Level 5. Julia Linda Hubrick. <clears throat> Vaitutu Mulipola Pelesi. Rishab Sharma. <clears throat> Mitterpal Singh. <clears throat> Ramandeep Singh. <clears throat> Harvinder Singh. Jubanjit Singh. Lovepreet Singh. Pardeep Singh. Gurpreet Singh. <laughs> Chin Hing Yu. <laughs> and in absentia, those listed in the program. Thank you, Nari. That concludes the awards for the Faculty of Consumer Services. I now call upon Michelle Tierney, Acting General Manager, Monaco Campus, and Executive General Manager, Strategy and Support Services, to confer the next awards. I wish to present the following recipients of the award, New Zealand Certificate in Pharmacy, Specialist Technician, Level 6. Sarah Ann Carson. Gertruda Jacoba Jan Conradi. <laughs> Danielle Lauren Cowper. <laughs> Kirsty Emma Louise Cowsley. Olivia Marie Derrick. Julie Elizabeth Donaldson. Angela Nicole Halliday.
Alicia Marie Hopping. Anna Lee Jane Innes. Dana Rose Johnson. Emily Lydia Jones. Kushla Marie Lester. Maureen Grace Lund. Okay. Mm. Sally McLeod. Mm. Stephanie Kieran McGeffin. <laughs> Dallas Christine Marie. Nicola Joy Murray. Amy Michelle Rattree. Emma Claire Reynolds. Sandika Kumari Sharan. Mika Elizabeth Wood. And in absentia, those listed in the program. I wish to present the following recipients of the award Diploma in Enrolled Nursing, Level 5. Umu Kushim Bibi. Preeti Swastika Devi. Pooja Riteshwari Devi. Ariana Himota Emery. Ashita Elisa Gaunda. Emma Luisa Luisa Havili Palinapa. Cassandra Candice Hitaraka. Mari Ina Elisa Isnit. Parishma Shivani Kuma. Mayopa Elitsi Piuela Mafi. Swadni Narayan. Shivani Prinika Prakash. Jacqueline Pearl Homai Puru. Alofa Ifali Opolo Samuelo. Diksha Manvi Sigaran. Mariah Crystal Trenberth. <laughs> Nancy Chantel Tupo. (laughs) 
Ellen Margaret Wardrop. And in absentia, those listed in the programme. Thank you, Gus. I now call upon the Chairman of the MIT Council, Peter Winder, to acknowledge the degree graduates. I wish to present the following recipients of the award Bachelor of Nursing Pacific. Vishane Fufuhipala Akala Alelua. Tawese Asia. Roger Akash Badesi. Rocchio Belen Capio Saceres. Nomal Lato Tony Sasya. Nomal also receives the Clinical Excellence Award sponsored by Pharmaco. <laughs> Hayden George Kenny Eric. Hayden also receives the MIT Academic Excellence Award. Cecilia Toyaso Falmasili. <laughs> Oriana Tuofeso Lalaye. Kathleen Filimoikava. <laughs> Tavita Faenga Moi Ofa Kanongakata. <laughs> Tavita also receives the Clinical Excellence Award sponsored by Pharmaco. Anita Liao Noah. <laughs> Stephanie Lillian Lehole. <laughs> Suivaya Levy. Alisi Talofi Liti. <laughs> Louisa Elizabeth Miley. <laughs> Itanya Manapule. Tokatuakana Ruth Masters. <laughs> Anna Kofi Paya Moala. <laughs> 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 
Anita Namalaulu. Ishna Narayan. Nina Serafina Namarota. Tupo Noah. Vika Pelaniti. Hercules Kimiora Tiku. <laughs> Victor Tu Onga Fasi. Carol Ann Rangamarie Vahakolo. <laughs> Luti Vaka. <laughs> Millie Victoria. Piokala Beatupu I wish to present the following recipients of the award Bachelor of Nursing Carlo Lyle Kenneth Lopez Aidan Alpana Adashini. <laughs> Brigitta Beryl Alti. <laughs> Nicole Christina Andrews. <laughs> Olivia May Asi Tuitanga Liavasa. <laughs> Olivia also receives the Clinical Excellence Award sponsored by Pharmaco. <laughs> Melanie Louise Meli O. Pratikshia Basiet. <laughs> Marif Baliokanag. <laughs> Belvi Kaur. <laughs> Shariza Big. Razia Rihana B. Rebecca Ellen Bilton. Katie Victoria Brickell. Maria Katerina Britz. <laughs> Deborah Elizabeth Bruski. Bruski. <laughs> Rebecca Carmichael.
Rebecca Huelen Castro. Arishma Kavita Chand. Kishni Chand. Pratik Krishnil Chand. Susan Chigwirawi. Michaela Grace Clark. Samantha Brooke Colburn Carr. Leandra Conradi. Ariel Philippe Cooper. Anna Marie Davison. <laughs> Krisha May Manalili de la Cruz. <laughs> Krisha also receives the MIT Academic Excellence Award. <laughs> Ashmita Yasin Danani. Taylor Jane Drake Brockman. <laughs> Fan Fing. <laughs> Repini Olimao Courtney Fipulia. <laughs> Ashley Ann Fox. <laughs> Hannah Carol Frost. <laughs> Anna Bailavia Fukufuka. Bethany Hope Gad. Elise Diane Gavin. Shani Phyllis Jeannie Jones. Catherine Tessa Mariki Galling. <laughs> Tiffany Pomalijo Gismundo. <laughs> Olivia Jane Godfrey. Gladys Gomez. <laughs> Natish Nand Gunda. <laughs> Jory Bell de la Cruz Golanus. <laughs> Renaz Rahila Hakim. <laughs> Bandana Halka.
Pamela Denise Hardy. Abby Lorna Higgins. <laughs> Zach Arthur Hill. <laughs> Bria Jessica Holmes. <laughs> Yan Teo Huang. Tia Johnston. Sharon Mary Kahi. Jagmeet Kaur. Kuljeet Kaur. Navneet Kaur. <laughs> Navneet Kaur. <laughs> Rubel Preet Kaur. <laughs> Phoebe Letitia Kelly. Anisha Khan. <laughs> Kola Imran Khan. <laughs> Anjali Khanna. <laughs> Mi Kwang Kim. Lauren Elizabeth King. <laughs> Kalpana Kamani Kishore. <laughs> Angelica Ku. <laughs> Mevlin Shimal Kuma. Chiron Sika Kuma. <laughs> Mosisi O Naila Joshua Langi. <laughs> Nicola Elizabeth Larson. Kueta Lata. <laughs> Dan Roshni Lingham. <laughs> Lavania Madurai. Ulita Fangu Fangu Mafilio <laughs> Netsai Mafuta <laughs> Janeth Trujillo Magalenes. <laughs> Radhika Mala. Lomana Malali. (laughs) 
Neha Darshna Mani. Ellen Rachel Enna Manuoka Foa Mendeson. Jade Jean Matthews. <laughs> Hannah Christy McKeebody. <laughs> Michelle Patricia McKenna. <laughs> Hannah Melissa Meek. Chelsea Ann Mills. <laughs> Ashley Lorraine Milner. <laughs> Daphne Missanale. Nikki Morris. <laughs> Sajishni Mudalia. <laughs> Monica Manomi Naidu. Megan Johanna Nairn. <laughs> Nayazi Christina Naroa. <laughs> Rika Nege. Camelia Ann Nikau. <laughs> Fiona Zariel Nisha. <laughs> Niha Nishita. Rebecca Ann Nota. <laughs> Catherine Rose O'Donnell. <laughs> Ligfati Um. Surya Kanti Mani. <laughs> Fatai Moi Manu Pahulu. <laughs> Sarah May Panui. Camilla Jane Manzarines Padellas. <laughs> Kirsten Jan Pesco. <laughs> Kamud Bin Patel.
Christine Maureen Pillay. Shail Nandini Pillay. Millie Sharon Piatu. Leanne Ivy May Poole. Ashna Aditi Prakash. Akashni Achil Prasad. Arushna Sharel Prasad. Manisha Prasad. Malia Pulianga. <laughs> Dumarina Akram Putros. <laughs> Roshni Ram. Manava Taknoa Salalangi Ratasu Manjani Rabachandran. Brenna Kim Christina Reed. <laughs> Melissa Jane Reynolds. <laughs> Alisi Victoria Rowe. Ariel Valena Ricasta. <laughs> Natasha Jade Roy. <laughs> Juanita Senka. Rima Christina Hardini Sagari. Amy Victoria Scott. Robbie May Shrimpton. Tafunaina C. Bing Andreas Ebendan Salab. <laughs> Komal Swastika Singh. <laughs> Namrata Singh. Prunella Prena Singh. Alexander Jessamy 
Julian Soga Ferretti. Lorraine Susan Sandring. Clayton Dean Strickland. Davina Sudaka. Vandana Schwami. Makalisi Taimani. Offa Folau Hola Erotama Tapuosi. Anna Sueli Kakalala Tehuti. <laughs> Patricia Stephanie Jamie Toya Pairama. Anna Lindsay Trenholm. Natalie Inez Uasi. <laughs> Blessings Matimba Ufwenkuka. <laughs> Maria Nikita Fritzi Bermoy Vinsiltele. Keely Rangihuya Vuletic. <laughs> Melania Talinga Teresa Margaret Water. Michaela Webster. Lisa Nicole Winslick. Lisa Marie Wilson. Siu Yuen Wong. And in absentia, those listed in the program. I wish to present the following recipients of the award, Bachelor of Applied Social Science Counseling. Cheryl Kahuki Anaru. Florence Annie Pelle. Paula Marie Christenel. Maria Gladys David. Mary Fredericks. (laughs) 
Julie Marie Gray. Matia Riki Karingo Haimona. Leativa Limalu. Vienna Peter. Tanya Kathleen Quidley. Christine Margaret Rukawai. <laughs> Carolyn Margaret Thompson. <laughs> Rebecca Dawn Tuffy. Priscilla Tahua. Kasana Lee Uyalavai. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Michelle. Well, that concludes the awards for the Faculty of Nursing and Health Studies and for the evening. On behalf of Monaco Institute of Technology, I would like to thank you all for your attendance today and for helping make it such a special evening for our graduates. 
There is a group that we haven't yet thanked today. To put on an event like this requires an enormous team. Many of them are volunteers, and they give their time because they believe in the importance of celebrating your achievements. Could we thank them? In a moment, I will invite you all to stand and join in singing the national anthem. Following this, please remain standing. The official party will leave the arena first, followed by the staff and then the graduates. Profes graduates. Oops. Professional photography studios are located in the conference centre. If you would like an individual or group portrait after the ceremony, please see them. Those photos, along with the ones taken here today, will be available to purchase online. I would now like to invite our graduates to please stand as we offer them one more round of applause. And now, would you please all be upstanding for the national anthem sung by Suosaya Folau. Oh, uh -huh. 